Thanks for watching the Ms. Yarn YouTube channel. It's Catherine here. Today I'm going to review the Zippy Loom, but in future videos I'm also going to review the Loops and Threads Quick Knit, no, the Loops and Threads Knit Quick set of round looms and also one of their long looms. And additionally, I will also eventually review the Boy Loom. So if you haven't already subscribed to this channel, please click the subscribe button below to see those other loom reviews as well as more loom knitting tutorials. So let's get started with our review. Um, here I've got two zippy looms. Um, one zippy loom is just four pegs and then there's this little attachment um, that you can use to put zippy looms together. I actually own two master sets plus two individual zippy looms. So that actually makes 10 of them. On this blue green garter stitch swatch, I use 12 pegs and I use the true knit stitch. That's why it's a bit, um, it's a bit tighter um, when you compare it to this pink one where it's another garter stitch, but I use the E-wrap instead. So again, I had used um, 12 pegs. So you can see that it's kind of loose and airy. Yeah, I think the Zippy Loom is good when you wanna use big yarn and have big stitches and um, when you want to make things like blankets and scarves. So I'm casting on just to give you an idea of how it feels to handle this particular loom. Um, I can tell you that it's very easy and very smooth. Um, I don't find any kind of resistance, I guess, coming from um, the design of the loom. And if someone just wanted to try it, they could buy just one Zippy Loom and then you could do um, my version of the absolute easiest ever E-Wrap scarf, which I'm linking to above. And what I wanna say is that I like how the grooves are designed because at the bottom of those grooves, um, it sort of stops short of the, it, it sort of stops short at the very end. And then, so there's no like ditch where your hook gets stuck, um, everything just kind of glides. And the same thing when you are um, moving upwards, if you need to remove your loop um, from that peg, um, it's pretty smooth. And then you're not finding any type of resistance from the peg. Also, there are no snags that come from these pegs. So I always like that when our yarn, um, when the yarn stays intact. So if you buy a master set, which comes with four zippy looms, you can do all sorts of configurations. Um, one thing though, is whenever I take it apart from um, however I've set it up, sometimes it can be a bit of a struggle. Um, I always make, I always end up making it work, but I find that it's not exactly easy to take them apart. So it's easy to put them together, but not so easy to take them apart. Um, and if you want to know my the way I like to use a zippy loom, I like to do a project um, where we're using two rows of pegs, so it's like a double rake. So I'm going to link to um, my tutorial about making a figure eight scarf on the zippy loom, as well as the figure eight blanket. So also be aware that there's a distance of 1.5 inches between um, between each peg between two pegs so you're going to need um, pretty big yarn for this loom so with your jumbo yarn you can very very quickly make blankets and scarves or even cowls and wraps and shawls of course but on the other hand if you want to make hats i don't think that this loom is appropriate so to close up this review let's go through the good the bad and the ugly as it relates to the zippy loom the good is that it's pleasant to use and it's been designed with actual loom knitters in mind and it's super fast to complete projects on the bad is that it's a tiny bit hard to disassemble at least that's my experience and the ugly is that it's not really good for hats or anything else that should be um, tightly woven so I'm going to sign off now. Please feel free to leave a comment with any questions or to share your experience with your loom. And please do subscribe so I can help you even more with your loom knitting.